Good afternoon everyone. So this is our DMW project. The project is titled Risk Breast Cancer Prediction Using Various Classification Algorithms. It is being presented by myself, Ajit Tesunir Tamar, Rule number 41211, Sophia J. number 41212, Shivra Daitada. Number 41215 and Sarah Shinde 41266. And our subject teacher is Mr. Data Tremodani. So now we will visit the data set. So our data set consists of 600 rows and 32 columns for patients coming to die for diagnosis of cancer. So it consists with the ID, diagnosis, radius, mean, texture, texture, perimeter, area, smoothness, compactness. So basically there are three types of dimensions. They are real numbers. We have nominal attributes and we have integer attributes. So we can see over here. Yes. So this is our architecture diagram. So what we are be doing is we will be retrieving the data, data set from the system. So this is the data set as you can see. The name ID is integer type diagnosis and nominal, whereas everything else is radius. What we'll be doing is we will be normalizing these values by using Z transformation by using the attribute filter type as subset, leaving only ID because we don't want to change the ID. So by normalizing these using Z transformation, we get the values within specified ranges. As we can see over here, if we hover if you just hover over this, so you can see the range of integer, of ID, for diagnosis, we have polynomial, that is P and M, P stands for benign, M stands for malignant, malignant is cancerous slum, benign is non-cancerous slum. So, and everything else is in the range of minus infinity to plus infinity, as it should be of a real number, missing variables are zero, but still as a precaution, we are using filter example operation that keeps a it which user example set are kept and which example sets are removed. We have used the condition class as missing labels for the same. Right. So next would be setting rule. Set rule is used to change the rule upon normal operator as we want to predict the can whether the lump is cancerous or not. Uh, our prediction or our target variable is diagnosis over here and we change it to variable label. The target rule should be a label. Otherwise, it will not perform the required, required analysis. So next, we, we have uh, select attributes operator. So we will be selecting only those attributes which actually have an impact on the on the on the on the output. So we will be using a subset, and we can see we can if we open, just open this dialog box over here, we can see we have selected a few one that that would definitely change or change the impact so our id is not necessarily required over here so we, we have not taken id and all the words will all the, we have excluded the first because they will they are outliers and they will tend to change the mean so we don't want to, that to happen next we have this cross validation function it is function within another function so we, we have the sample data set with relative we have taken sample of ratio 0.7 as this cross-validation function has two parts that is the training part and testing pass. Then we have applied the first model, naive bias, naive, yes. So this model is a probabilistic classifier. So what we have done is we have used a testing apply model, the operator we have used apply model and then we have calculated the performance of it. So we have used the label as main criterion as accuracy for the same and then we have shown the output. In the second model, we have done exactly the same. So, retrieve data set, normalize, filter examples, set forth with attribute. Cross validation, we have changed the function to logistic regression. Logistic regression uses retrieves value in between 0 and 1. And despite being named as regression, it is actually used for classification. So, this is the accuracy. The third model is the same, retrieve data set, normalize, filter examples, set rule, select attributes, cross validation. So we have used SVM, support vector machine uses the hyperplane technology, the hyperplane method. Uh, this is the fourth method, which we have decision tree, decision tree as we know, yes or no. It just splits into the different parts. So uh, moving on to the results, the results is are as follows. The naive, naive, naive base result is 91.40%, it gives 91.40% accuracy. 
The second performance factor that is the logistic regression model gives 94.20% accuracy. The third model gives 94.56% accuracy, whereas the fourth model gives 91.74% accuracy. We can also check, see the visualizations over here. In this, we have this is the confusion matrix. This is the true positive, true negative, false positive, false negative, type 1 error, type 2 error. And this is the plot view of the same.